Hi there, are you ready for a kiss? In this video, you will learn how to solve another problem using the kiss method. As you remember, the technique we're going to use is based on four steps. Knowledge, insight, skill and solution, or kiss. I will show you how to use this technique to find the answer to a question. The problem you will solve today is as follows. Find the critical points of the function f of x and y equals y squared minus 2 times y times the cosine of x with x between minus 1 and 4 and classify the critical points. The first step of KISS is knowledge. What do you know about this problem? Which theorems and definitions have something to do with this question? First notice the term critical point. You want to find the critical points of a function of multiple variables. Do you remember the definition? Then you see that you also need to classify these points. You probably remember that you're going to need the partial derivatives of the function. And because it is a function of multiple variables, you also need the second partial derivatives. So, which theorem or definition do you need for that? In the lectures you learned about the second derivatives test, so this theorem might come in handy. You're now ready to show you have insight into the problem by developing a plan to solve the question. The first step is to find the critical points. Do this by finding the partial derivatives of f and calculating the points for which they are equal to zero. Next, check if the partial derivatives of f are not defined for certain values of x and y, because critical points can also appear at these points. The second step is to calculate the second partial derivatives. With these derivatives you can compute the determinant of the critical points. Once you know the determinant and the value of the second partial derivative of f with respect to x, you can classify the critical points using the second derivatives test. With this plan, you finish the insight step. The next step is skill. Use your skills to execute the plan of attack. First, you want to find the critical points. Therefore, use the derivatives. The derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 2 times y times the sine of x. The derivative of f with respect to y is equal to 2 times y minus 2 times the cosine of x. Both derivatives are well defined in all points of their domains. Therefore, a critical point will be a point where both derivatives are equal to 0. So, 2y times the sine of x equals 0 and 2y minus 2 times the cosine of x equals 0. If 2y sine of x equals 0, then either y can equal 0 or the sine of x must equal 0. First look at the set of equations where y equals 0. You can use the first equation to simplify the second. You get that cosine of x must be equal to 0. This means that x is equal to pi over 2 plus k times pi. However, x is restricted to the domain minus 1 to 4. So you get that y equals 0 and x equals pi over 2. Do you see why this is true? This is your first critical point. Well done! You still have another set of equations, so let's solve these together. When sine of x is equal to 0, x must be equal to k times pi. Again, x is restricted to its domain, so x is equal to 0 or x is equal to pi. You end up with two sets of equations, which you still have to solve for y. Using that x is equal to 0, you get that 2y minus 2 must be equal to 0. So y equals 1. You found another critical point. When x is equal to pi, the cosine of x is equal to minus 1. This gives 2y plus 2 equals 0, which means that y is equal to minus 1. So you have found all critical points. Pi over 2, 0, 0, 1, and pi minus 1. You can put this information in a table, which you can extend in the next steps of your plan. Now calculate the second partial derivatives of f. The second partial derivatives of f are shown here. Next, you need to calculate these second partial derivatives in the critical points you found in the previous step of your plan. This is what you end up with. 
However, this is not yet enough information to classify the critical points. The next step is to determine the determinant. For your function, the determinant d is given by 4 times y times the cosine of x minus 4 times the sine of x squared. We need to calculate this determinant in each of the critical points. For pi over 2, 0, the determinant becomes minus 4. For 0, 1 and for pi minus 1, the determinant is equal to 4. Now you can use the second derivatives test to classify the critical points. So let's add another column to the table. For pi over 2, 0, d is less than 0, therefore this is a saddle point. 0, 1 has positive determinant and a positive second partial derivative of f with respect to x, so here f must have a local minimum. The same is true for your last critical point, pi minus 1. This leaves only the last step of the KISS method, solution. Be sure to write down your answer. In this case you get pi over 2, 0 is a saddle point, at 0, 1, f has a local minimum, and at pi minus 1, f also has a local minimum. However, do not forget to include all the computation steps you wrote down during the skill part and be sure to check for errors in your calculations. You have performed all steps and found the solution to your problem. Well done! And good luck with your exam.